Stop beating yourself up for something that you are not solving. As a matter of fact, if you beat yourself up on something that you are not solving, then you are adding up more issues, you are adding up more problems. Stop beating yourself up. Stop that. Stop beating yourself up for something that you are not solving. As a matter of fact, if you beat yourself up on something that you are not solving, then you are adding up more issues. You are adding up more problems. You know, beating yourself up comes in when you regret something when you find something you did something that was wrong you did a mistake and you ended up regretting at the end of it all you know and this creates a, a situation of cognitive dissonance when you you don't understand what what happened like you end up beating yourself up to a position that you're going in cycles without finding solutions and that is insanity you guys if you want to solve something then you you better just go sit down and just ask yourself what the heck is happening here where can i solve this shit rather than beating yourself up then you're just not doing anything about that that shit no no so you better be at a position where if it is beating yourself up you are sitting down and finding the solutions to add that shit that you're facing of which most people don't do and that is why they never gain clarity and as a matter of fact you better understand that this drive you for your, your purpose to fail and if you won't fail you won't gain that freaking success your purpose to do mistakes because that is the only way we as human beings run and if you don't make mistakes, then guess what? You'll never know the right path. And that is it. It is the beauty of life itself. You guys, without all these failures, without all these mistakes, believe me or not, life wouldn't be that important. Simply because it is just smooth. It, it can never be like that. If it, yet, it ever, ever be like that, then it wouldn't be interesting. Life with all its problems, with all its stress, that is where its importance can, comes in. So, you have to understand that regardless of what mistakes you did, you ought not to tie yourself up to them, you know. You ought not to define yourself, your character with the mistakes that you did in the past, because that will be technically stupid. You won't be moving anywhere as a matter of fact in this life each and every one of us we really want to move forward and to move forward quick and if you are holding yourself up back to the mistakes that you did 10 years three years two years ago or even last week believe me or not your progress will be even freaking slower simply because you are tying yourself up to the issues that you had yesterday that you are not even try, trying to find the solutions to those issues. You are just beating yourself up, saying I'm a piece of shit, I hear all this bullshit. But you are not actively sitting down and seeking solution for that thing. That's a mistake. You know, as a matter of fact, life with all its problems, it's a way of teaching us as men. Because we can never learn in any other way. We run by mistakes and you know it may take a while by the way a person may learn from one mistake others may learn from even 20 or 50 or thousands of mistakes but as a matter of fact you will all always run a lesson the hard way so 
you guys, you better be at a position to understand that unless you direct your way of thinking towards those issues, those problems, those guilt, in fact, holding yourself up to that guilt that you had, that you did an issue or um, you did a mistake the other day, then that is a freaking stupid thing to do. You better be at a position to elevate beyond that. You better be at a position to sit down and actually seek the solution to that issue that you are facing. And if you ain't, you ain't ready to do that, believe me or not, you will lose. You will lose this shit to people who are sitting down and actively improving in their lives step by step. And that is it. You guys, you better understand that this life is beautiful with all its issues. Just don't try to push the issues away because you, they can never go away. Because that is life. That is life. Just try by all means to solve all, all your issues. Stop holding up to that guilt. Because guilt itself, it makes you a piece of shit. It makes you to revolve around the issue without finding any solution because you ain't actively even seeking for it. But when you have that guilt, in fact, where Swatson normally says, regret is your guideline, you know. In fact, that skill, that, that guilt that you had is the one that will tell you, okay, this shit need, needs to be solved. And that is it. The regret is your guideline, and unless you are using that guilt as a lesson that you will implement tomorrow so that you may not fail again, that is the only moment when you will be at a position to elevate, and you will elevate quick, and that is it. You guys, be freaking savages. Stop beating your freaking self up for the things, for the shit that you did back in the days. It doesn't make any freaking sense. Take the freaking goddamn lessons and learn, learn from them, start implementing them, actively seek solutions, use the regulator as your guideline, and you see your life change for the better. And that is it for today. You guys, if you haven't yet subscribed, it would really mean a world to me. I'm super grateful for you watching to this very end. Adios.